We're down in the basement and we're back for the yearly update for the um, repair with the hydraulic cement. If you've been following along, I've been coming down here every year since I've done that just to show you how things are going. So without further ado, we're going to turn it around and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so just for orientation, you see that there's the uh, electrical panel and then over there is the main repair. And here's the condition of the basement. It is uh, mid-October in 2024. And uh, let's get in a little closer. I'll grab my light. And as you can see, that is actually not wet. That's very, very dry. And it kind of just has that dark finish to it. Up there is the lighter gray, similar to in years past. So it's still looking really, really good. That is not uh, wet at all. You see a little bit of a, you know, minerals coming through there, that white stuff, those white cracks, you know, or lines, that's um, mineral deposits coming through there. That's a sign of like a little bit of weeping, you know, right there and then right there as well. So if you see that staining coming in, you can actually see right there is a little bit more than I'd like to see. And that's that whitish, that's probably, you know, calcium or lime or something like that coming through. But overall, I mean, look how nice, you know, that looks. And then, you know, there's the floor. It rained last night really good too. So that it should be, you know, damp down here. Uh, it's not. And this is up in the uh, vault, I think is what they call that. And there was the new line coming in. And there's where the, that was the old lines. So the old electrical lines used to come in through there. And then the new line comes in there. So as you guys can see, really nice and dry uh, everywhere. And definitely no moisture away from the panel. The panel used to be kind of like over in this area and we thought it would be safer to put it over in this area just because it would be away from the vault. So, but again, here's a little weeping hole that I actually drilled in there. Yeah, it's got a little bit of moisture, I guess. I drilled a couple of those, I think. That one at least, maybe another one I thought I put in here. But just to relieve some pressure just in case. But even that really doesn't have much coming through it. And we didn't do anything on the outside. Um, well, I tried to, but the neighbors had other designs. So, I mean, as you can see, nice and dry. And uh, this stuff is, um, is looking good. So thanks for following along. Um, I thought it would be interesting just to kind of post these you know, updates every year because sometimes people post these videos and they have these solutions or whatever. I really didn't know if this was gonna work. Um, I thought it would, and I had some experience with this product in the past and it did uh, really well. So, um, so I thought that you guys would appreciate seeing, you know, year after year after year, the long-term solution to this because there were some people in the comments that were saying like, oh, you know, you gotta have the professionals come in and spend all kinds of money and, you know, that wall's gonna fall down. Some guy said that in the comments. It's like, clearly you can see this wall has not fallen in at all. And the basement down here, although it looks a little ugly, has actually never looked better or been better um, for years and years and years from a water intrusion standpoint. So if you want to try this, I don't recommend it, I'm just some guy, but if you want to try this, um, then, you know, for a relatively inexpensive product, which is that hydraulic cement, it works really good in my experience. Uh, that's not structural necessarily, but I didn't do it that way to be structural. I, just, I did it to keep the water out so it wouldn't cause any further damage or additional damage to the actual structural part, which is the wall, which is quite thick. I mean, that wall is probably 14, 16 inches thick. It's very, very heavy or thick. So, uh, hey, thanks for um, following along. I hope you guys found this enjoyable. I'll see you next winter.